Good evening, folks, uh, and welcome to our late evening uh, office service. Um, I hope uh, you're all uh, well. Um, I'm uh, sorry. I'm just fiddling about with my phone here because um, I, I took a I took a chance to record this a few minutes ago and got interrupted with a with a phone call as as happens. Um, so I just switched my phone off. Uh, I hope you're all very well and uh, just two announcements before we begin. First of all, uh, unfortunately th this week is the end of our evening services. Apart from the Wednesday evening midweek that we're going to do, um, that's simply because we're reopening the churches again. Um, we've got to keep on doing the online stuff for Sunday. I'm out doing the pastoral visiting again and things are just beginning to ramp up again and there's just physically no, no space um, to be able to do this so i hope you've enjoyed it i've enjoyed doing it it's hard to believe that i've been doing it more or less every night for five months um and certainly whenever the churches reopen again for midweek stuff um i can envisage the the need to have something midweek that that we will that where we'll gather together and, and do this so um it's been good to, to 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 allow god to work through us in this uh, with a new uh, initiative um, the the second thing to uh, just to say is is that remember our um, Sunday services are now on in Christ Church in St John's. You just need to book online to do that um, via the website on the front page if you want to come along. Um, we've got all the safety measures in place, so you've nothing to worry about in terms of um, coming in through the door. It's 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 been done well, so um, please book your place. Um, but don't worry if you're nervous about coming back. We're going to continue the online services on Sundays for, for the foreseeable future. Um, our service of late evening office um, uh, that we're going to follow, um, uh, remember you can get that online on our website under the resources section if you don't have it in your prayer book. So let's begin. Blessed be our God for all time, now and forevermore. Amen. Glory to you, our God, glory be to you, Holy Spirit, Comforter, treasure of all goodness and giver of life. Come and dwell in us, cleanse us from all sin, and in your love bring us to salvation. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our uh, psalm that's been appointed um, for this evening is Psalm 25. I'm just going to uh, bring that up here on my computer tonight. Psalm 25. In you, Lord my God, I put my trust. I trust in you. Do not let me be put to shame, nor let my enemies triumph over me. No one who hopes in you will ever be put to shame, but shame will come on those who are treacherous without cause. Show me your ways, Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God, my Saviour, and my hope is in you all day long. Remember, Lord, your great mercy and love, for they are from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth and my rebellious ways. According to your love, remember me, for you, Lord, are good. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore he instructs the sinners in his ways. He guides the humble in what is right and teaches them his way. All the ways of the Lord are loving and faithful toward those who keep the commands, or sorry, the demands of his covenant. For the sake of your name, Lord, forgive my iniquity, though it is great. Who then are those who fear the Lord? He will instruct them in the ways they should choose. They will spend their days in prosperity and their descendants will inherit the land. The Lord confides in those who fear him. He makes his covenant known to them. My eyes are ever on the Lord, for only he will release my feet from the snare. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. Relieve the troubles of my heart and free me from my anguish. Look on my affliction and my distress, and take away all my sins. See how numerous are my enemies and how fearlessly they hate me. Guard my life and rescue me. Do not let me be put to shame, for I take refuge in you. 
may integrity and uprightness protect me, because my hope, Lord, is in you. Deliver Israel, O God, for from all their troubles. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our uh, reading um, for this evening is from Revelation 15, 1 to 4. I saw in heaven another great and marvellous sign, seven angels with the seven last plagues last because with them God's wrath is completed. And I saw what looked like a sea of glass glowing with fire and standing beside the sea, those who had been victorious over the beast and its image and over the name and the number of its name. They held harps given them by God and sang the song of God's servant Moses and of the Lamb. Great and marvellous are your deeds, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are your ways, King of the nations. Who will not fear you, Lord, and bring glory to your name? For you alone are holy. All nations will come and worship before you, for your righteous acts have been revealed. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I'm just going to concentrate on that verse 3. Great and marvellous are your deeds, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are your ways, King of the nations. In a, a vision of heaven, John sees the victorious uh, gathering of the saints standing before a glassy sea. With harps in their hands, they sing the song of Moses and the Lamb. And they offer high praise to the Lord God Almighty. Uh, and uh, you know that I, I love to dip in and out a little bit of Greek. And the Greek words for king of nations is ho basileus ton ethnon. Ho basileus ton ethnon. That name highlights God as basileus. And that means leader of people. He's a prince, he's a commander, he's lord of the land and king. He isn't just a, a petty ruler of a small state, but he's the king of all nations, of all nations, tribes and people across time and across space. And so this scene of a crystal sea is a climax in salvation Ho Basilius ton ethnon, king of the nations, triumphs over and it destroy, he destroys all of his enemies. Throughout history, the people of the earth have rejected God's claim as ruler over heaven and earth. They do so and continue to do so today. When God's glory and his righteousness are completely revealed, all nations, all people groups of the earth will come and they will bow before his throne and worship him. Does history often seem out of control, heading towards destruction? I think we see that even more every day. But can I say not to lose any sense of hope? Ho Basilius ton ethno, king of the nations, will succeed. And so we have that assurance of Jesus' victory over sin and death. And so, in that hope, live and serve today with confidence. Amen. The Nunc Dimittis. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord with all our heart and with all our soul. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for all Christian people that they may live in love and truth. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for all ministers of the church and for our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for peace throughout the world and for all governments. Lord, have mercy. 
let us pray for our neighbours and for all our friends. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for those who hate us as we pray for those who love us. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for refugees and prisoners and for all who are exposed to the dangers of travel. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for all sick people, for the sorrowful and the dying. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for the abundance of the fruits of the earth and that the poor and hungry may receive a just share. Lord, have mercy. Let us remember our brothers and sisters who have entered into eternal rest. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Let us now continue in a time of open prayer. Father God, we thank you that we can come to you at all times with um, our concerns and our worries. Thank you, Lord, that in these strange times that we may know you as the only hope that this world has. So, Father, I pray today um, for our world, first and foremost, for the many things that we see in our world that are so obviously against you, against your law, the things that are happening, the destruction of the earth, the destruction of the, the very ecosystem in which uh, which keeps us alive. Uh, and we, we immediately begin by asking for your forgiveness at how we have uh, mistreated your creation. Lord, we thank you for the community in which we live and, and in which we work. We pray, Lord, that in these difficult times of the recession that seems to be settling in now as into the country, um, that you will uh, bring hope and security to the many families who must be worried at this time. Help us to be a church that reaches out and provides support to those families, that we're not just a church that meets on a Sunday, but that we're very much a church that lives and breathes every day the gospel or the hope of the gospel, the good news um, to our community. We pray for our school children in these days, not just about coming back to school, but also those that have been taking exams and are receiving A-level results today and uh, GCSE results next week. And we pray for those kids, Lord, um, that their future is not determined by a bit of paper um, that has been calculated in some way in this past year, but that their hope and their future is totally in your hands. Lord, we pray for all those that within our parish and known to us and friends and family who are sick or suffering at this time, whether through uh, physical illness, whether through mental illness, or uh, are suffering spiritually or uh, lacking uh, the, 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 the real sense of of growth because uh, the buildings of the church have been closed. So just in a moment of quiet uh, prayer, um, let's call before God with uh, our needs for those uh, that we love or, or know uh, who need God's touch at this time. Finally, we pray for ourselves. We pray, Lord, that uh, in the days ahead, uh, Lord, we, we don't know what the future is going to be. We don't know what is facing us. But, Lord, we pray that we may know your presence in all the things that we do, in the decisions we make, in, in the worries that un unsettle us. Um, in the doubts that we have. May we know the real sense of your Spirit's guidance, his comfort, his love and his presence uh, over us and around us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory 
forever and ever. Amen. We say together the common collect. Lord Almighty, come and scatter the darkness of our hearts by the light of your presence, that we may know you, the light of the world, and the one true God, blessed this night and forevermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Almighty and merciful God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless us and keep us. Amen. Folks, don't forget to uh, book yourselves on for our Sunday services if you haven't uh, already. And uh, God bless you into this night. <laughs>